What's up, guys? Episode 3 of the Dog Father Show. Big day tomorrow. Draft day 2012. And to me, this is probably one of our biggest drafts in a long time. And as a message to Mike Holmgren, I hope that somehow, some way, someone tells you and you listen. Listen to the fans, please. We're running out of Joe Thomas. Do something. We can't live forever on one draft pick per 10 years. We need big star players. We need people wearing our jerseys around saying, oh my God, the Browns are something. Not asking for a Super Bowl. I'm asking for the sadness to end. Mike Holmgren, please, please show us what you did in Green Bay. Show us what you did in Seattle. Let's go for it. We're going to talk about some draft picks today. We're going to talk about the possibilities of what they might pick up as the draft pick at number four. Um, I don't want to get into 22 until the end, and even then, I'm only going to say mention one name. First, first person that they're probably uh, looking at, they've played him, they've warmed him up, they've tried him, they've looked at him, but he's probably going to go to the Minnesota Vikings. Matt Khalil. Great player, but we don't need an offensive lineman now. We don't need a guard. We don't. We need to give Colt McCoy a chance. We need to give Colt McCoy protection. Can be given to him. We can get that at a later round. What we need is someone to hand off to. I personally believe Peyton Hillis was the answer. Obviously, they didn't think so, so he's off to Kansas City. But now we have to replace him. And we need somebody that can shove forward for those big yardage. And when we're on third and one, which hundreds of times last year, we just got stuffed. We need to get a first down. He's our answer. He'll give us, he'll give us what we need as far as a running back. And Matt Khalil will give us what we need as far as protection. More needs, more needs need to be addressed before we look at Matt Khalil or an offensive so throw this, throw this out. No Matt Khalil. Next, cornerback. Morris Claiborne. Love him. Great player. Could really do some well, good. But we already have a pretty damn good defense. I'm just going to say, you know, he's got speed. He'll upgrade any defense out there. But I want everybody out there to think of this. Do we want to lose three to nothing? Great. We have an awesome defense. Still can't score, so we won't get a winning record and we'll lose a lot of games 3 to nothing. Bye, Morris Clayboy. Not going to happen. Justin Blackman. Possibility. Great receiver. Hands like glue. Could be the next Calvin Johnson, some people say. He's a competitive with a great team attitude and he'll put ease on McCoy. Not only will he put ease on McCoy, but all the other receivers out there are going to have a chance to get open because they're all trying to cover Blackman. I'd go for this. I wish that we could get something better first before we went to Blackman, but in reality, if we're going to go for a receiver, he's the man. Then we have Trent Richardson. Did great for Alabama. Awesome guy. But something tells me, something out there tells me that there could be another answer. I think that he'd be a great addition, but he's a risk. And he's a risk because, as everybody out there knows in the Browns, we don't put up with the gangster attitude. We don't put up with the drinking and driving. We don't put up with the crap. You're a team player. You're in a team. We operate as a team. We go out on the field as a team. There is no I in team. And I have a funny feeling Trent Richardson might just be the person to say, I'm the guy, I'm this. And he may be. I'm hoping that if we do pick him up at number four, that he is the guy that brings us those extra downs, those, the guy that brings us the touchdowns instead of field goals. I'm hoping. You know... His ghetto attitude is not a need, 
but the points are. His power, unparalleled in this draft except for one person. And this is my answer. So let's say we go after, uh, let's say we go after uh, Blackman. We go after Blackman, and then we end up, obviously we need a running back. We can't depend on what we have. And we really, there's nobody on the free agent worth anything. I wish Matt Forte would just say, see you to Chicago, and that's not going to happen. But what if, what if we did draft another running back? And we traded our number four spot for a spot that we are guaranteed to get Blackman. And in exchange for that, moved up from 22 to a higher spot to get us Doug Martin. I've looked at his tapes. I've looked at his games. He's one inch shorter. But he sure does look like a Trent Richardson, but with better cuts. He cuts better. He looks like he has an eye for the holes better. Instead of going through them, he looks for them. You know, if we could get Blackman and Doug Martin, that would be huge. I really think that the Browns might pull off a trade. Unfortunately, I think they might just trade down to the point where we lose everything but getting crazy picks. We'll see. Other than that, as for this guy, I didn't mention him for a reason, Ryan Tannehill, we have Colt McCoy. Colt McCoy's had one year. One year. That's it. He needs a bigger chance. He needs a better chance. And he is our future. He's got heart. He's got game. He's got speed. And if you see him try to tackle him, he shrugs him off. Browns fans, tomorrow's a huge day. I'm going to have episode four on. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about day one on the draft. And we're going to see how it pans out. But let's all pray that we do not end up with the shaft. I honestly believe, I honestly believe that we're going to do good. I believe it this year. Believe Dog Dogfather out.